Field in line for the Supreme Ventures Jamaica two-year-old stakes, a grade one event. They're off and running. Anonymous came out at the back of the field. Mamma Mia has taken off quickly, being chased by stablemate Thalita. A burlap is racing up next as they charge past the seven and run the back stretch and make their way now toward the final six. Mamma Mia sets the fractions from Burlap. The leader is on the rail, Mojita right with them. Two and a half length separates that bunch as they leave the six. Legit Boss is being held off the fractions. Did that the last time and won. Showgirl is racing two lengths in behind him, joined by Anonymous. A break back to All for Love on Charter Chills the field. They've left the five and run toward the half mile. They're almost there and quite a grouping up front. Burlap is all right there and is showing some speed as they now make their way running into that turn. Mojita now shoots through and Mojita gets that lead from a Burlap. A Mamma Mia is still there on the premises. A gap opens up to a driven Thalita needing to do a lot, so to Legit Boss and Anonymous. Showgirl is next, then All for Love and Uncharted struggling at the back, 5.16 the run. They're about to come thundering into the top of the lane and Mojito has struck the front and opens up the advantage. Mamma Mia trying to chase over against the rail, switched off, it's that Salita. Legit Boss is in the center, Burlap is there too and Anonymous begins a charge, widest of them all, but it is Mojito who has the lead in the Supreme Ventures Jamaica two-year-old stakes. It is Mojito out in front. Devastating Dane Dawkins and Mojito enjoy a three-length lead. Legit Boss is chasing, but it's Mojito who takes it. Mojito wins it by just about two and a half. Close between Mamma Mia and Legit Boss. All for Love looks to be next ahead of Anonymous. And that's 100 win for Dane Dawkins. He's four in front of Anthony. Anthony Thomas has to get going if he wants to peg back devastating Dane Dawkins in the Jockeys Championship. In the winner's enclosure, the unofficial winner of race number eight, the Supreme Ventures Jamaica two-year-old stakes, number 10, Mojito.
a two-year-old gray colt by Savoy Stomp. Fifty Shades of Ray. Once again, in the winner's enclosure, the unofficial winner of race number 10, the Supreme Benches two -year -old, Jamaica two-year-old stakes, Mojito, two-year-old gray colt by Savoy Stomp, 50 shade of Ray by Zandaro. Fred Richard Azan and Alexander Haber, they're also the owners. Train Richard Azan, the winning rider, devastating Dane Dawkins, the groom, Reverton Nelson, second. It's a dead heat for second. Dead heat for second. Between number nine, Mamma Mia, and eight, Legit Boss. Fourth to number one, Anonymous. And a fifth, number three, All for Love. Final time for 12, make that 1,600 meters. So the Jamaica two-year-old stakes for 2022 goes to Mojito in fine style in the able hands of Dane Dawkins, our leading jockey. Dane, congratulations. Thanks very much. All right, so his fourth time out, I mean, still green like most of the feet. They're all babies. Uh, well, taper from the gate. Well, the key is to get a good, good break, and I get that good break. And from there, I was restraining him all the way to the fire furlong. I asked him to pick it up a little. He responded, so I take back the next hole and in. Leaving the tree furlong, kind of take time giving his head some more. Coming to the street, I asked him what, asked him for everything that he got, and he responded a lot. Uh, it looked as if in the last furlong thereabouts he was pr perhaps getting a bit tired, or is it just exp inexperience? Yeah, he was getting a little tired, you know, but first going a mile, so we can expect anything. Well, congratulations, a job well done, and uh, many more we hope before the year ends. Thanks. Dane Dawkins here, the winning jockey, Mojito, uh, the horse that took him to success in the Jamaica two-year-old stakes for 2022. The trainer walks in, he's the part owner, part breeder. Congratulations, Richard Azan. And part breeder as well. I said part breeder. Okay, good. Thank very, you very much. Thank you. There you go. All right, uh, three runs under his belt coming into the event. Um, I, I wanted to ask you about your program of preparation for him, given that, like so many, he was going to go a mile for the first time. Well... Actually, I didn't expect the jockey to go so early with him. I, I saw when you asked him that you thought he was getting tired. But you see, as a two-year-old and going eight furlongs for the first time, you know, I didn't train him to sprint. I trained him to sort of be, you know, run on uh, over a mile. So he went to the lead very early, and I guess he found himself lonely on the lead. So probably he was waiting on our horses to come back to him. Yeah, the, the, fair, the various phases of the race. So he got a good break, as the jockey said, and did what was necessary to get into the race. From the half mile, he had company, and the jockey said he was still in hand, and he let out a notch, and he took a little pinch and everything. So the various phases of the race, before turning for home, how do you think he handled from the gate to the top of the stretch? Well, listen, he won, so the jockey handled everything perfectly. All right, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the home stretch, as I asked, he looked to me as if he was shortening a little bit. But again, you can expect that a baby going a mile for the first time. The question from this is this. Do you expect him to handle a mile comfort comfortably? Do you expect him to be able to get further next season? I think that he will get further comfortably. I didn't hard train him because I know he's a real good horse. I didn't want to take any chances that he would hurt himself. So I think I just got him enough that he could probably win this race. So as we go on and he gets more mature, I think he's going to improve a lot more. A job very well done. He looks to have tremendous hope. I hope you have good luck with him and he avoids injury and that he can show his best next season. Thank you so much. Excellent. Richard Azan there, the part owner, part breeder and trainer of Mojito, the winner of the Jamaica two-year-old stakes for 2022. A dead heat between eight legit boss and nine Mamma Mia. So the dead eaters in race number eight, that's the second place finish, Legit Boss and Mamma Mia. And the Hubble representing himself and Richard Azan.
the next uh, presentation to the winning owner, Richard Azan. He's also a part owner of Mojito, winning in, in impressive style. Mr. Johnston will present to Mr. Richard Azan, the winning owner. Make that the winning trainer, and he's also the winning owner. And the, for the winning breeder, Mr. Johnston will present to Ms. Monique Azan, representing the winning breeders, Alexander Haber and Richard Azan. Next up, the presentation to the winning jockey and groom, Claire Ann Kennedy, CEO, Supreme Venture Services Limited, and collecting on behalf of the winning jockey, Mr. Richard Azan, collects for... So that's the breeder's presentation. So coming up now will be the presentation to the winning jockey. Richard Azan will re represent Dane Dawkins and presentation made by Claire Ann Kennedy. Once again, she's the CEO, Supreme Ventures Services Limited. And she will also present the winning groom award to trainer Richard Azan and the winning groom Reverton Nelson. So a job well done by the connection. Congratulations to the winning connections of the Supreme Ventures Jamaica two-year-old stakes trophy.